The cross, a Hi path friends. to true greatness. Good morning and welcome to this minute's reflection with Father Augustine on the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. It is the truth that all of us want to be great, but the path of greatness only lies in suffering and pain. We must go through the rigorous process of planting, waiting, of weeding, of cultivating, of all those things, waiting for the sun and the rain before we can expect a bountiful harvest. The disciples today were showing signs that they all wanted to be great, but Jesus tells them that the path to true greatness lies in the cross. And it is only when we are unable to go through this path that we become unnecessarily jealous with one another and we become unnecessarily ambitious. St. James tells us that it is when our desires are not fulfilled, that is when we start looking for who to kill, we start looking for people to antagonize just because our desires are not met. But he tells us that if we are able to embrace the pain of the cross, then we would have courage and fear to overcome our weaknesses, our weaknesses, and then go on to become great afterwards. Remember the fruits of the spirit of courage, the fruits of the spirit of love, of joy, and the Bible says, where love and charity abide, there God is found. Let us today not be like these people in the first reading that would antagonize the upright man. But as Jesus tells his disciples, let us embrace humility as children in service and so work out our salvation in fear and trembling. Remember, no cross, no crown. May the good Lord bless his words in our hearts and grant us the courage to embrace pain and suffering, to embrace the cross, and thus work out a way to embrace the crown at the end. May he bless his words in our hearts and lighten our paths today and give us the grace to let his words change our hearts and minds and become more like him in everything, especially in the service of our neighbors. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.